Well, hello guys on YouTube today. How are you guys today? Well, I want to talk to you guys about new technology and auto technology, by the way. And I think, and we're going to be talking about uh, IED auto technology, and we're going to talk about some of the newer SATA technology we have out today. Well, this motherboard here, this motherboard is a very old motherboard. Um, this is not a working motherboard, by the way, guys. Um, this is a, a very old motherboard. I just want to show you guys on what it looks like. This is sports IE. Okay. This is for floppy, this is for a whole drive, and that's for just like a CD ROM or DVD ROM. You see, this is a pretty old motherboard. It has very old RAM, and also some very old ARM stuff on the side of it. And that's just the back of the, this board. And let's just go ahead and finish talking to you guys here. Here's a auto media. This is a ID uh, CD case or side uh, side CD drive, by the way. Um, this drive does not work. It's just a CD only on it, and it says, you see in the background, here's your audio, here's your pins, here's your IED pins, and here's your Molux uh, PAL. So this is just a CD banner, I guess, it might be a CD banner, or it could be just a old CD uh, drive. This is the media you would use to put uh, your music and stuff on this, uh, from this drive to a disc like this. But let's go ahead and grab the DVD drive. Again, this is an RD DVD drive, again. Um, this is a very old uh, DVD drive. Again, it does has, it will work with DVDs or CDs. I don't think this is a banner, I think this is just a standard DVD. And this is the model on this one. Yep, yeah, it's this DVD RAM, you know, DVD drive from 1997. That's a pretty old um, unit. Again, here's your uh, audio pins, your jumper pins, and also your IDD 40 pin uh, uh, pins here, and also your Molux uh, power as well. And for this one, you would use a DVD media for for this drive as well. And let's go ahead and bring out a very old, old uh, beast tail. Uh, we no longer make it anymore. Anybody know what this is? This is a floppy. This is a very floppy. Uh, it's an old floppy. All you do is just stick a floppy disk in it. This is a floppy recorder and a writer. And it has less pins. There's your IED uh, pins and your PAL right there. This is a Samsung um, uh, floppy. And that's just what it looks like underneath and has that spindle down there. And to use this, you would use a media floppy disk like this. And all you do is put the disk inside. And you just record and write to the um, floppy. That's a pretty good old uh, unit here. Uh, let's go ahead and bring up the IV um, cable. You see, this is the IED cable. See, it'll plug in the, the back of the unit like this. Again, it has a bit of a notch to it. The, uh, the pins only go in a certain way, a pattern, on the unit itself. You see, just plug it in, and you plug this uh, IED cable directly into the back of on the motherboard over there. And let's go ahead and uh, grab. This is a IED hard drive. This is a Western digital um, hard drive. 
It's only a, a 20 gigabyte hard drive. Again, here's your 40 pin IED, jump ball pins, and also a Molux um, for PAL. And again, you'll take your IED cable, okay, and you plug it into the back of the hard drive like this. And you plug this on end into the motherboard. And that's how you connect the uh, IED hard drives, IED uh, DVD drive, and IED uh, CD drive uh, on your uh, computer. And let's go ahead and take up the motherboard here. And this is how you connect your IED. Anything that had IED on it, you just connect it directly to that. And this would be genetically connected to hard drives. You got a master and a slave um, for uh, IED uh, hard drives. And we got a, again, a IED hard drive enclosure case for the older style hard drives. Wait, this is a 3.5 inch enclosure for the IED hard drives itself. This is a 2.5 laptop hard drive IED case as well. This one is a newer technology. This one is a SATA 3.5 uh, hard drive enclosure case for hard drives. This is a rational digital hard drive enclosure for a uh, 2.5 laptop uh, hard drive as well. Let's go ahead and bring up this guy. And this also has the newer technology inside it. You can see here is what we're, going, what we're using now. It's a very small, uh, very small, uh, SATA cables instead of the, uh, instead of IED because they're a lot smaller in form than the uh, older uh, hold and the older IED hard drives or the older hold IED cables. And yes, if you're going to be uh, you're going to be doing any type of upgrades to your older computer, well, sorry though, guys, uh, the new SATA technology is not going to fit in a older uh, motherboard, you would have to buy a very new computer or you would have to buy a adapter to convert your SATA to the motherboard by using one of these uh, PCI slots on the motherboard itself. And in the background, I have a older Molex power supply. I have a older uh, analog uh, cables. See, this, this is the analog for your DVD drive and CD drive for the sound. And I also have a very old, 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 uh, Trental cable. This plugs in the back of your computer. There's a plug in your back of your, uh, printer. But nowadays we're using USB. Uh, we don't really need this anymore. And also I got my HP laptop. It also has SATA uh, technology in it. I couldn't find the old Dell I used to use. It also has only IED technology in it. And this is just a Molex uh, power supply. Again, the one the uh, motherboard. It has all these different um, Molex and stuff on them. Well, like I said, it's a, a very, very common change. We we change from from using older technology from all IED uh, cables, thus to one single, small, and slim uh, SATA cable to use on uh, new uh, devices like CD drives, DVD drives. Uh, uh, hard drives and stuff like that, but if you also have older hard drives and if you have a newer motherboard, sometimes you have say motherboard is going to may have a IED or SATA, but again, you have to make sure what motherboard you're going to be looking for, just make sure it does have 
that capability of taking a auto disk drive or a auto hard drive with using older uh, IV drives or IV ribbon cables. These are ribbon cables, by the way. This is the um, floppy ribbon cable. Uh, this is a hard drive or DVD drive uh, ribbon cable. Again, it has three uh, IED connections on it. This would be like your master, or this would be your slave, and this would plug directly into the uh, motherboard of your computer of that day, or that time, we used, what we used to use. Like I said, technology is uh, technology changes uh, very uh, quickly, and like I said, all auto technology like IED cables, um, you hardly can find IED, uh, mostly you can hardly find anything that has IED nowadays on guys, but you can still find them, but uh, a little bit harder to find, because you gotta know what you're looking for. Um, for these two drives here, you would uh, need a big old uh, enclosure for these, but these two drives here are, are completely shut. But these two drives here is a C this is a CD drive, this is a DVD drive, this is what the media it uses, this is a CD drive, a CD disc, and this is a DVD disc. Um, this here is a very old unit, this is a floppy disc, if anybody wants to know what a floppy used to look like. Uh, this is a, a very old floppy, uh, again, we no longer use that media format anymore because now we have uh, hard drives and we also had those the uh, DVD drive um, and stuff like that. The DVD drive can do both things. It can read uh, CDs and read DVDs. If you have a DVD bundle, okay, DVD bundle, it's going to have a DVD bundle, a CD bundle, and one unit instead of having two separated um, drives here for your taking up space on your computer. And by the way, this motherboard here has three, um, three IED slots, it has a floppy uh, IED slot, and it has a hard drive slot, and it also has a IED uh, CD or DVD slot uh, for your computer. Now, if you want to upgrade your computer uh, to do any types of upgrades, you got to make sure your case is compatible with some of the new technology, like new motherboards, um, you know, so you gotta make sure you upgrade most of the other thing. But like I said, IED stuff is it's getting harder to find uh, every day uh, for mostly everyday users and stuff like that. But the the problem is um, the reason why we're going with the thinner uh, SATA cables. Get to the difference, guys. <laughs> which one? Which one's a whole lot thinner? The forty-pin uh, ribbon cable or the or the seven-pin uh, SATA cable? This is the smallest one versus this one. And the reason why this one's small because it's tiny, or it can fit in the small areas versus a. IED ribbon cable. This is just the IED ribbon cable, by the way. That's all this is. And on one side of the IED ribbon cable, you got a red, a red stripe on one of the wires right here. Just a, it's all an original uh, single wires, by the way, guys. But like I said, IED uh, devices or well, pretty hard to find uh, these days, uh, definitely in local stores like you know, Walmart, Best Buy, any type of electronic stores. But you also can customize your own computer to take uh, different types of newer technology and integrating your older technology with your newer motherboard. But again, with your older motherboard, you can't it, you can't plug. You can't plug a SATA in your motherboard. You can only plug a IED in the auto motherboard. But 
Oh yeah, so we got the ID motherboard, ID DVD drive, CD drive, ID uh, ribbon cables, ID enclosure case, ID hard drive, and I say ID uh, floppy disk, ID laptop hard drive, and then your little SATA uh, desktop drive and a laptop SATA uh, hard drive. Again, we have involved from using the older technology into small and faster uh, and faster cables. But like I said, older technology it's just um it it does you know the no longer making these older hard drives and um older stuff anymore you can barely find them and stuff like that but you can still you can look on the internet and if you really want an older hard drive hey that's fine but like I said it's not it's not these older hard drives and all these um kill and the ribbon cables and all these are, are starting to fade out uh slowly but the fading out and uh, slowly transforming into a SATA hard drive and what do I mean about a SATA hard drive? Let's go ahead and just take out my hard drive at this enclosure. And by the way, guys, if you're going to buy, buy an enclosure and you have an ID uh, hard drive, uh, it will not work in a hard drive enclosure that has a SATA port. You have to have one that has an ID, uh, ID um, uh, cables and stuff like that. Take out my drive or go for you. This is my hard drive. This is SATA. That's the SATA power I don't know and I transfer and stuff like that to the uh, board and stuff. This is my SATA drive. Go ahead and open this uh old unit this is a uh, this is a IED drive um, case this is meant for older hard drives not the uh, newer hard drives um, by the way guys but like I said older drives are starting to fade away like I said, uh, I gotta gently pull this guy out of here. Sometimes it will come out. Sometimes it will not come out. This is the IV power supply. Molex. And it is a, a old fashioned IV. You take a SATA and you buy the, the long case. Um, it's not going to fit in this case uh, because it's will not work inside of the older IED hard drive cases. But with the IED hard drive like this one, you can. Because all you have to do is just plug the Molex in your IED drive and you screw these two together. You got yourself a IED hard drive USB enclosure case. And that's the same with any of the. Uh, new old, uh, stuff as well. But alright guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, talking about the older technology and also the newer technology. I hope you guys please subscribe, uh, please leave a comment, please like, and also please share this uh, video uh, with your own uh, YouTubers that like technology like I do. Uh, guys, peace out. Bye guys. I will see you in the next vlog. Alright, later guys.